On January 20th, TT Games published a six minute long gameplay trailer with a final release date, April 5th. If you haven't seen the video of me talking about how excited I am about this game, then go check it out. One thing you can take from it, I'm stoked. This gameplay trailer is amazing and I'm super excited to break it down with you. If you enjoy what you see and you want me to make more content about LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, don't forget to like the video, it would help me out a lot. Without further ado, let's start right into the video. Before we can even play the game, we have to first choose the episode we want to start in. Like many others, I also thought that we would be able to start with any episode we want. For example, I thought we could play Anakin Skywalker killing younglings in episode 3, and then go back to episode 1 when he was just a youngling himself to pay him back. I'm joking, of course. When we take a look at the episode selection menu, we can see that they have separated it into three trilogies. We as players can then start with each trilogy's first episode, meaning we start with episode 1, The Phantom Menace, whilst episode 2 and 3 stay unlocked until you finish the first episode, or you start playing episode 4, A New Hope, while episode 5 and 6 stay unlocked, and so on. It is personally not a big deal, because I didn't plan on starting in the middle anyway, but I see why some would see it as a small issue. If we look at every individual episode, each of them has a little mini Lego set representing the episode. I think that is just such a great detail, which I wouldn't have thought about at all. I love that they did it though, it just adds something very nice to the feeling of choosing each episode. Way to go, TT! I definitely want to have a look into the new combat mechanics, which I split into two subcategories, lightsaber battle and blaster battle. The first thing probably everyone noticed is that we don't have the well-known hearts anymore. They changed these to health bars, and when we do attack or get attacked, we can see the amount of health that is lost depending on where we get hit or hit others. They also changed the mechanics of blaster battles. We can now aim manually and decide where we want to shoot the enemy. As we can see very well in the shot of Han Solo shooting down a drone or Leia shooting stormtroopers. A funny and also very cool thing they added is that depending on where you shoot, the NPCs react in different ways. As you can see right here, when Leia shoots the stormtrooper in the head, he loses his helmet. And when she shoots another one in the foot, he starts jumping on one foot while holding the other. I just love the attention to detail here and I'm very excited to find out what other reaction the NPCs have. As we all know, Jedis can not only fight with lightsabers, but they can also use the force to throw people around and hit them with several objects, just as Anakin in this shot. It seems like there will be multiple things around us at any time that can be influenced. Not only will we be able to use the force on random objects, but we will also be able to influence, choke and throw random NPCs. A good look at that gives us this shot of Obi-Wan influencing a bantha where he lets him dance to distract stormtroopers. Other options include panic and influence, which I think sounds hilarious. It seems that depending on what choice we make, the stormtroopers will have different reactions, which will either prevent us from or force us to fight. Both combat and the force will be able to upgrade with time. Blaster battles will be more precise and special lightsaber attacks like the lightsaber throw from Rey will be available at some point in the game. But also other cool stuff like throwing shock grenades as a bounty hunter, splitting in half as a protocol droid and lifting, throwing and being feared by NPCs as a Sith. When we look at the upgrade system menu, right here we can see that every character has been sorted into a specific category. We can see here that we have Jedis, Hero, Scavengers, Scoundrel, Bounty Hunter, Villain, Dark Side, Astromech Droids, Protocol Droids, and, which we can't see here, common characters as well. Each individual category has four subcategories that can each be upgraded three times with so-called Kyber Bricks, which are spread all over the galaxy. Now that we talked about different categories, let's get to the over three 100 characters. If you want me to make a video naming every of the characters we see in the trailer so far, let me know in the comments. For now, I'll just name a few so you'll get an idea. Here we have a list of 63 characters. As you probably noticed, each of them has a colored background representing their category. For example, we have our favorite Wookiee Chewbacca as a scoundrel, Babu Frick as a common character, BB-8 as an astromech droid, Yoda as a Jedi, Commander Cody as a hero, Count Dooku representing the dark side, Boba Fett as a bounty hunter, and so on. You get the idea. 
Every character will have their own abilities. For example, Ray will be able to shoot a net to climb to higher places, Tusken Raiders will be able to spin while attacking enemies, and even R2-D2 doesn't just stand around, but he can also attack NPCs, which I am super excited about. But not all characters will be actually playable. As we can see here in the DLC announcement, Grogu will be a companion character. That means we will be playing as Mando and Grogu will follow us, joining us on our adventure. We can also see that in the trailers here, we play as Jabba the Hutt with Celestius Crumb and as Jango Fett with Young Boba. Whether we will be able to turn it on and off whenever we want and what the other companion characters are is an information we will have to wait for until the game releases. In other LEGO games, we can replay episodes in a free mode style. That means you choose whatever character you want, go back into the episode and unlock things that were not available in story mode. The same feature will be available in the Skywalker Saga. However, TT Games didn't leave it at that. We will now be able to choose whether we want to continue or replay the story. And on top of that, we can decide whether we just want to free roam the galaxy, do side missions, fly to and discover planets and freely interact with NPCs. I just finished building my Lego Millennium Falcon, which took me forever. I'm so ready to be flying that thing and many other ships through space. The graphics here look stunning. It seems like we will be able to choose any character and fly any spaceships, which I think is such a cool addition. We will be able to travel from planet to planet while encountering enemy ships, which we then can decide to attack. When we are ready, we can fly towards the planet's atmosphere, which brings me to the next category. Here we have the planet menu of every single planet we'll be able to unlock. We will be able to choose whatever planet we want to go to, and as long as it's unlocked, we are brought with light speed to its surroundings. Like I said, when we are done with attacking other ships and we fly into the planet's atmosphere, a cutscene will appear, which will show us landing on that planet. When we have a look at this part of the trailer, we can see Coruscant with its districts. Here we can decide whether we want to fly to the Federal District or the Uskru District. There will probably be some more districts which we will unlock with time, but I'm not sure. So far, we know of 23 planets and 28 locations. They might have added more, but so far we don't have any further updates on it. And last but not least, let's have a quick look at the extras menu. Many things will be unlockable here, such as baguette lightsabers, port companion, which I'm really excited about, gong civilians, TV, hologram and retro mode, and of course, every fan's favorite, mumble mode. I'm stoked that TT Games actually listened and gave us the possibility to go back in time and turn off the voice lines whenever we want. There are many other details in the trailer, so if you want me to take a closer look at them, let me know in the comments. That was it with the video for now. I really hope you enjoyed what you saw. I will cover the Skywalker Saga down to its last detail on this channel, and of course a lot of other things too. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss out on any of my future videos. A like would be highly appreciated too. I will say goodbye for now, but don't worry, I will be back quicker than you can say Millennium Falcon. Until then, adios.